Hello there, Erica here again, and we're gonna take a quick look at how to start a Zoom meeting using VoiceOver. This particular example will involve an iOS device using the Zoom app. So on the first set of clips, we are starting on the home page of the Zoom app from the Apple App Store. The very bottom of the home page of the iOS app, you'll see meet and chat, meetings, contacts, and settings. I wanted to start there because I wanted to highlight that you need to make sure your device is on the meet and chat selection so that you will see the meet and chat options. So we're starting from the bottom and then we'll work our way to the top. Selected, meet and chat, tab, one of four. Meetings, tab, two of four. Contacts, tab, three of four. Settings, tab, four of four. Screen recording. When we go back to the very top of the home page of the iOS app, we'll see several options including new meeting, join, schedule, and share screen. So now we're going to go ahead and select new meeting. Start items, button. Meet and chat, heading. Start a chat, button. Search, search field. Double tap to edit. New meeting, button. Join, button. Schedule, button. Share screen, button. New meeting, button. Cancel, button. Start a meeting, heading. Video on, switch button, on. Use personal meeting ID. PM, start a meeting, button. Waiting. Connecting, ellipsis. Now we're connected by video and you're gonna see a pop-up that says to hear others, please join audio. So you have the option of call using internet audio or call using dial-in. So now that you're zooming live, you'll see options toward the bottom. You'll see a bunch of icons. The first one says mute your mic. The next one is stop video. The next one is share content. The next one is participants and then there's a more icon the more icon will reveal more options such as the hand clap emoji that you can send during a zoom as well as thumbs up emoji meeting settings minimize meeting disconnect audio and cancel when you're ready to end the meeting at the top right corner you'll see the word end when you tap on that you will see a menu pop up from the bottom and the options include to keep this meeting running please assign a host before you leave the meeting so that's a little suggestion in that box and then the options are leave meeting end meeting or cancel so that's a simple way to use the ios app to launch a Zoom meeting as well as end the meeting when you're done. So if you all have any other suggestions, you want to leave some comments about Zoom and the Zoom app, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching. This is Erica. Bye.